Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Rochelle here. And of course you clicked this video because I want to show you how I do my own nails. So it's nothing fancy and I'm not trying to say I'm an expert, but I'm just going to show you guys how I do my poly gel nails. And maybe hopefully in the future I can get really fancy with it. But this is just like a little, a little tutorial. It is a tutorial! Anyway, enough of me talking, let's just get into it. Hello, honey. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys. So let's let's do these nails. Oh my god, that's my phone. So these are poly gel. I already have them on. I am going to show you how I do um, one of my nails from scratch, though, and how I refill my other nails. And if you're looking at the yellow stains, it's turmeric. Turmeric is very stainy, and I've been having turmeric lately to build up my immunity against this. You know the c word anyways we're not going to talk about we're not going to talk about that first things first i am going to um file down my nails with my drill i got this drill on amazon i will leave a link down below i think it was like 35 dollars or something like that i just plug it in and turn it on comes with a whole bunch of like bits and pieces to uh change out so i'm just using this really rough um, piece. It's a rough head or something like that. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Like it's it's um it's rough. Like it's the roughest one. So that when I'm filing it down, it really um like goes through it. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna start filing it down my nail. Now, when I first got my poly gel kit, it did come with tools in the uh, in the box. It came with an LED light, the poly gel colors. It also had the dual forms. So I don't use the dual forms anymore, but I am gonna show you how to do it on my one thumb. And then the other nails, I kind of just freehand it. So I'm drilling down my nail. And also the only way to get poly gel completely off your nail is you do have to file it down. So that that is obviously what I'm trying to do with my thumb because it kind of broke all the way. And I'm just being very careful because if you file in one space for too long, you don't want the, the file to go all the way to your nail bed or you do not want it to heat up from filing in one position. So I'm just kind of like chipping away at it. So this is the dual form that came with the kit. I'm just showing you my thumb. So I size it just to make sure it's the right size, not too big, not too small. And the reason I don't like to use it anymore is because of this curvature. I don't really want my nail to be so curved. I want it to be straight, kind of like this picture right here. You know what I mean? But I'm just going to show you how to use the one of the kit anyway. So I'm going to file my nails down a little bit more. This is a softer file. Oh my God, what is it called? The roughness. <laughs> this is um, a finer grit. So I'm just smoothing my nail out to prep it for the base coat. So this is gonna be my base coat. I'm gonna put it on and I'll be using my LED lights which came with my nail kit. And I'm gonna put it in my lamp to cure for um, 60 seconds. Now I have like a nail polish on the top of my, of my thing so don't judge me. Also in my kit is this slip. It's called slip, so it allows you to use your brush with the poly gel without the poly gel sticking to the brush. So you just kind of keep the brush wet with this with this solution. And now I'm going to squeeze my poly gel onto the back of my spatula, a bit bigger than a pea size amount. And especially for my thumb, you're probably going to use more than you know your other fingers. So squeeze that in there. Looks good. Now we're gonna mold this into the dual form. Now this is where you're gonna have to dip your brush into your um, solution so that this thing doesn't stick. And so this thing is not like acrylic. It's not as runny, it's very, very stiff. So the best way I find to spread it in my dual form is to pat it into place. So once you've got your poly gel where you want it to go, you're gonna get your lamp, have it real close because as soon as you put this on, you don't want to spend too much time trying to organize your light. You want to have your light right there. So I just give it a light press and sometimes extra poly gel squeezes out 
And you should take your brush, but my brush was not that close. So I just put it right under the light. I can always shave it down later. So I had a bit of a mishap. My hand was not laying flat in the LED light. So when I took off my dual form, the side was not cured. The light only got to one side of my nail. So I'm gonna have to fill it with some more gel and put the, the uh, dual form on top of it and put it back in the oven. Grr! Almost perfect, but <laughs> not quite, but that's fine. We can fix that. So in your kit also comes this cleaner. I don't know what the solution is made of, but for some reason when you do poly gel, there's like a film that's left behind after. So you have to like wipe it off and it's kind of like sticky. And normally with a dual form, you wouldn't have to spend much time filing anything down. It would basically look pretty much perfect. It would even be shiny. But because I had that funny mishap on one side of my thumb, I'm gonna have to spend some time filing the nail down. And so now I'm just shaping my nail. I like a coffin style, not completely coffin. It's, it's maybe more so square, but not fully square, if you know what I mean. So I just kind of narrow it just a little bit. And this is what my nail looks like. You guys can see that kind of coffin shape. So it looks really dull. And the next step is going to be the top coat. So now that I've achieved my desired shape, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my top coat. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my LED light for approximately um, 90 seconds. You can do more, but 90 seconds is good enough for me. And there you have it. That is the process with the dual form. Now I'm gonna do the rest of my nails freehand. Now this process is pretty similar to how I did my thumb, but I'm not gonna be taking all the poly gel off of my nail. I'm just gonna be doing the first layer, which is the top coat. And I'm gonna be also using my drill to just shave my cuticles down a little bit. You can use your cuticle pushback uh, tool, or you can just use the drill and drill away your cuticles. Both work the same. Now, I don't know what this tool is called, but I'm sure you've seen it before, and I'm just using it to clean up the edges of my nails. I also want to show you a part of my poly gel nail was lifting. So when you're going to refill your poly gel nails, you want to make sure you shave off as much of the poly gel that is lifting off of your natural nail. So shave that away as much as possible, which is what I'm doing here with my uh, first finger. And every time you fill poly gel, you have to use your base coat. So I'm gonna put my base coat all over all of my nails and cure them for 60 seconds. So if I were gonna use my dual form, I'd be putting the poly gel inside my dual form, but since I'm doing it freehand, I'm just gonna put it onto my little spatula and put it directly onto my nail. I think I might've made my ball too big, but I think it's Better if you put too much than too little. It's a bit annoying to have to squeeze it back out and put it onto your nail and kind of ruin what you started. So I'm patting it down. As I said before, it's not like acrylic where you can just pull it. You have to like pat it into the crevices, you know? And during this process, it's not gonna come out the most smooth, but because I know I'm gonna be using my drill to even it out, I'm okay with that. The most important part to pay attention to is the cuticle area. You don't want to make it too thick around the cuticle because it's going to look weird. But listen, honey, now is the best time to pick up a new skill because who know when we're going to go back outside. You know what I'm saying? So you home, you might as well learn how to do this. And it can save you a lot of money in the long run. Like going to the salon. I'm a basic girl, okay? When I go to the salon, it's like 40 bucks. I know some of y'all, it's like a hundred bucks. So if you can learn how to do something that you know you're gonna do all the time, imagine how much money you could be saving. Comment down below, do you guys already do your own nails? Or are there any people out there now considering learning how to do their own nails? Comment down below. So I went ahead, shaped them, filed them into shape and they're looking pretty good and all I gotta do is my top coat and cure these bad boys
And voila, I am all finished, you guys. One hand anyway. So these are my nails, you guys. I'm, I'm a human again. This will be great for FaceTime, Instagram, live, uh, Zoom calls. Yeah, they'll look really, really put together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you guys are inspired to do your own nails if you're not already doing your own nails. And you guys, please don't judge me. I'm not, you know, I'm not a real salon nail person. I just, I'm just trying a ting. You know? I'm trying to look semi-decent for my, for my household. <laughs> but I'm sure my skills will improve over time. Okay guys, maybe I'll come with something more fancy next time. But if you enjoyed this video, comment down below. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye